today we're out here at uh, Hagerstown Airport with a Cessna 208 caravan and we're actually testing our spectrum that we own that allows us to communicate to piloted and remotely piloted aircraft. We're here to work the technology to a path of commercialization. It's amazingly exciting. We are testing the ability for a radio on the ground to send data from a ground station that a remote pilot would sit on and send that information to an aircraft that's flying overhead in a way that is, is reliable and has high resiliency. And that data includes also voice that allows the pilot on the ground to talk to air traffic control as if that pilot were on the aircraft. And that, that information will be used to control the aircraft, uh, command it as to where it needs to go, altitude, position, where the aircraft is at any one point for the situational awareness of the pilot, of the remote pilot, and for the remote pilot to talk to uh, air traffic control uh, as if that pilot was on the aircraft. The flight profiles consisted of bow tie pattern flights, which are used to test handover between a ground radio located at Hagerstown Airport and one located in Monrovia, Maryland. Circular pattern flights also were used to test radio performance and validate modeling of the RF characteristics of the link. I'm really excited about what we have achieved because we validated the link uh, and the robustness of that link, and we validated the voice component which will enable the, the critical and low latency communications that are needed and to allow commercial flights into national airspace.